This is Daiwa BG 6500. This is the first proper reel in the BG series for offshore application. You can use five size uh, 4005 and 5000, but if you're talking about like 60 pound tuna or 60 pound king mackerel or 60 pound dorado mahi mahi, then this is the proper reel. So the size below this one, and we're talking about size 5000 and 4500, only can give you a maximum drag of 9, but I doubt it can go to 9. I've never fished 9 kilos on those two reels. But this one, it can go up to 9. And I think the proper drag to use for this reel is around 7 to 9 kilograms. Now, according to the website and the box, this one uh, can output about 30 pounds of drag but 30 pounds is a lot of drag I mean this rig can handle it but I doubt that it can handle it for a long period of time but anyways if you want to go offshore and you want to some cheap reel to handle like 60 pounds 70 pound tuna then this is the reel to go BG 6500 alright let's check uh, the function we should well since this reel was not fished quite extensively during this pandemic because we <laughs> suddenly go out now all right so track seems fine not seems fine so raining feels a little bit sluggish and that's it uh, so as usual we're going to disassemble everything and then reassemble it back one by one Alright, so stay tuned for the disassembling video and reassembling of Daiwa BG6500. Alright, let's go ahead with our primary disassembling. That should come easily. This reel was not used for a very long time. I mean, it was brought to every trip but was not used much because of the pandemic so I don't use this one very often right let's move this to three screws this reel shares uh, the exact same design as five as five thousand and four thousand five hundred and eight thousand so The size 8000 is the same, only the spool and the rotor is not the same if I'm mistaken. Other than that, everything's the same. Alright, this is not. It goes counterclockwise. Alright, there we go. And we'll remove the rotor. It should come out just like this. And we're going to leave this one for now. And then we are gonna okay, remove this handle. There we go. And then the body side cap. Okay, there we go. And that's it for the primary disassembling. And now we're going to go ahead and disassemble the spool and the drag knob. All right, so this is the spool and the drag knob. The construction for both is very straightforward and very easy to maintain. All right, first we remove this one. All right, first the clip. And then we should have, I think, six layers of drag, I think, on this one. And there's a bearing inside here, which actually serves no purpose. Other than for a fancy UNC something. Alright, so this is the drag. So one gear washer, drag, regular, gear washer, regular, and... 
Alright, so there you have it. Uh, make sure you tune in to the reassembling video on how to reassemble this drag stack. Alright, so that's the drag stack, and we set it aside. And next, we need to remove this one. This one is also easy. You just have to remove this this clip here. All right. So remove this clip, which will come out very easy. But hold on, something stuck. Let's see. Hold up. There we go. That's the clip. All right, that's the tension spring, which already some have some rust on it. It was uh, it already has some rust, but looks like ah uh, never mind. Okay, so that's the clicker and the spacer, and that's it. It's very easy to maintain and very easy to disassemble. All right, next we're going to disassemble the rotor. So this is the rotor. It is also of a very easy design. So, so first we remove the spacer, and then we remove the bell arm, which should be easy. Oh, hold on, we have to remove this one first. Okay, so let's see. All right, remove. Oops, remove this one. All right, so it sits like this. So this one is help by two bushing which you can change to ball bearing but I don't see the reason why you have to change this you can change to ball bearing but be ready for some quite uh, not quite hard it's just that you have to change the bearing often because of salt water alright so remove that and not to forget this one here which sometimes it's quite difficult to remove sometimes not all the time there we go so as you can see here there's some marking so the marking always sits inside there all right so now we're going to remove the bail arm uh, I mean, yep, the bear arm doesn't fit. All right, so there we go. And make sure you put your thumb onto the bear arm because there's a spring here, and you have to remove this slowly and gently. There you go. All right, should be fine. That's it, and then you remove this one. Alright, go so like that. And then you take this one out. And there's a spring and the washer. And this is rotor brake spring. And it also has the spring and washer. So be careful not to lose this. If you lose this, you're gonna have problem. Alright, so that's it for rotor easy peasy and next we're going to move on to the main body which is also easy to maintain like Daiwa BG have one of the easiest design and one of the easiest to maintain all right let's go on with the main body so this is the main body of Daiwa BG um, first we're going to remove the entire bearing this is a spacer we just remove it just like that set it aside and we'll remove this cap And 
this is the entire reverse which shares with a few other reel this one is not suitable for handling uh, like 30 pounds of drag or 15 kilos of drag but it works all right remove the sleeve and next we're going to remove this uh, rear cover there we go that's the rear cover and next we're going to remove this screw this five screw it is the same size and I think three of these have washer a spring washer if I'm not mistaken let's get the proper screwdriver right loosen it first make things easier Right, there we go. And this one's still stuck. Right, see, there we go. So this one washer here and this two here. So this side, this three here have washers. Sometimes I find it washes here. Sometimes it's here. So anyway, it's fine I think. But this one must have washer. And this side must have the washer and this one. But it is uh, up to you. Alright, so set this one aside. Alright, remove this bearing first and then before we proceed make sure we move this shaft all the way to the back end just like that and make sure if you want to make things easier make sure this entire reverse there engages alright and it should be much much easier to do things all right so next we're going to remove the pinion gear all right and then just pull everything out and this one space is not coming out which is fine we'll do it later next we'll remove this one the shaft support and then we have to remove the pin the retaining clip All right I'm not sure if you can see this but there's a retaining clip here which holds the bearing to the main frame there you go set the side right so pulling this out since so not coming out so we remove this shaft first all right sometimes it come out easily in this case it does sometimes it's very hard to remove and in this case this one it came out quite easily which actually surprises me a bit. Alright, so this is the bearing which I'm going to remove. There we go. And then there's one spacer here, pinion spacer, pinion support, I think. Alright, there you go. So it sits like this. So the longer notch here should go inside. Alright, so that's it. Next we're going to remove this pinion and this oscillation gear here. 
and make sure everything's fine. All right. Go for the oscillation gear. It should come up nicely, hopefully. There we go. Gear post, which hopefully this one does it's not stuck. If not, we have to do something quite nasty. And seems like it is stuck. So, I will try to do this slowly. There we go. Alright, so this is the oscillation gear bearing. Set it aside. And doesn't seem to be any sort of salt inside because I don't use this really very often this year. Alright, so we'll remove this uh, backup entire reverse lever. I mean, if you service this on your own, you don't have to remove this, but for this video, I'll remove this. I've made a video previously on the same reel, but at that time I was testing with video making, with YouTube, so it's not of the best quality. So now that I knew, know a little bit of video editing using DaVinci Resolve and stuff, hopefully this will come out beautiful. Right, so this one have this leaf and it sits like that, so this notch here should go like that. All right, so that's it for the uh, disassembling of the Diva BG6500 main body, and that's it. So stay tuned for another video. Oh, hold on, we haven't talked about this one here. So this is the retaining ring, it's held by two screws and then we remove the bearing. Should be one washer here and there should be another washer down here. So there's two washers, right? Alright, so that's it. Um uh, support bearing and it should have one washer here, which I don't see surprisingly. There should be one spring washer or Bellevue washer here, so I don't see one. Alright, so stay tuned for the reassembling video of Daiwa BG6500. Alright, see you guys again.